What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 124, I think. Things have been a little scuffed lately, boys, but you know that. You guys know things have been scuffed. We got suspended on the Twitter. We got banned on Twitch for three days. We were we were locked up in the gulag last week. So it's been two weeks. I think I think the gulag put us to um the gulag put us to a uh, a stop of our consecutive weeks with the podcast. My man hook him with three months. Catman with six months. Murray with nine. Y'all going crazy. Let's go. So we definitely are pretty down right now, boys. And I'll be honest, pretty bummed out. I'm pretty bummed out with the tweeter being being popped. It's rough. It's rough. Uh, made me realize that, you know, all my other social medias other than Twitch are kind of trash. So, if you don't, make sure you follow the other ones, man. You can put burner. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Burner. There it is. My man, Trap. That's, that's the burner tweeter. Um... That's the one I'm working with now. Hopefully, I get my real one back one day. If not, we're gonna make this one shake, right? We've been down before. Um, we are we, but I'll tell you, I'm definitely bummed out. Is the word is the uh, the vibes from what the tweeter has done. Um, not only the tweeter, bro, Madden. I feel like I feel like Madden's kind of dead. I never say that, but right now I just feel like it's kind of dead. I mean Archer all the way through May. I don't know if the, I don't know if that's fair to say or not, boys. Yeah, follow the tweeter, follow the tweeter, burner tweeter or ban. Actually, you know. So Madden, Madden's been kind of bummed. Yeah, we're we're closing in on the last couple weeks of Madden here, honestly. Um, because when MLB comes out, I think it might be Madden on weekend leagues only, honestly. Um, but we'll see. LCQ is still popping. LCQ is moving. I, this has been two weeks. We got two weeks to talk about. I don't know what crazy happened in two weeks. Um, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, Madden, Madden's kind of dead. Madden's kind of dead. I think I need to start talking more about, about golden tickets and, and stuff like that. More content pieces, more content focus of my channel. You know, moving to a different direction because the content's still kind of booming. And with that, who would you guys make as a golden ticket? If you received a golden ticket card, who would you guys pick? I don't know who I would pick if I was a golden ticket because Clowny. And honestly, the Clowny is not super crazy, uh... The Clowney is not super crazy tough. He's good, but he's not like, oh my God, he's the best player. There's probably like 10 other players like Clowney, really. Kick the ball, though. He might make a return tonight. I heard rumblings of FIFA tonight. We were talking all day. Maybe Modern Warfare 2. Kevin King. Yeah, yeah, right. Antonio. Antonio Brown. Kareem Hunt kicker. That's why I don't see. That's why I don't. I don't open. I don't really like asking y'all too many questions, bro. I really don't, cause y'all say shit like that. Kareem Hunt kicker. Yeah, Simmons. Let's make a Simmons with one point more speed. That'd be a great golden ticket, bro. No, like clown. Clowny's not that much that great. See, and just like that. The chat was dead. We start talking about content. You guys all get horned up. Look at them. Look how horned up they are. Look how horned up. It's a horned up chat right now. Out of nowhere. I mean, Vinzo in the building. Aiden in the building. What's up, boys? Um, I might make a Jerry Judy or maybe Herbert. I don't know, man. Obviously, Vic. Kirk 
Kershaw in the building. Jalen Mills. Uh, but but going on it from the clowny card as compared to Lawrence Taylor, as compared to Ricky Jackson, as compared to the Stork, as compared to a lot of cards, it's not that much better, right, boys? Predict the LCQ. I'm going to tell you who the favorite is. I think Boogs. I think Boogs is a favorite. That's a good that's a good topic. Some favorites, my top four favorites for LCQ. That's a good. Clowney's good because of his abilities. Okay, we're done now. See, that's the end. See, now when people just start saying shit like that. Then, I, then that's when I say, okay, let's talk about my favorites for LCQ. There we go. Like, what the fuck? Bugs is hell right now. Bugs never stopped being tough, bro. That's why y'all crazy. Like, he's never stopped. He's honestly the best. Bobby V making a run with the bangs? Possible. Speaking of Bobby V, we're going to talk more about Bobby V when we talk about Boss Bot Wars Part 3. Yeah. Drew, what's up, buddy? Bugs is done moving furniture. Josh John, that's a good point. I'm telling you. Bugs for Bugs not really a Mike type of guy, bro. Clef not really a Mike type of guy either, but Bugs not really a Mike type of guy. He's not really a Mike type of guy. Boris, what's up? Can Trey pass the barrier? We'll see, man. We will see. I'm excited. It should be fun. Should be fun times. And uh, as we talk about it, the LCQ. I I mean, I don't know. Uh, and and is this the best format ever? Is it really? Diddy. Jesse did he improve or was that Noah in his face was that the down was that the end of Trey he hasn't made a dime since then that might have been the A of Trey the end of Trey really that might have been the end of Trey really Might have been the end, but the format was cool, man. I I I'll tell you, um, I'm always let's talk about the LCQ as we're halfway through it. I guess we're through the latter part. Um, I'm always in favor of, you know, the leaderboard on on the uh on the game. Uh, I don't think anybody's against. It. I think 128 people is a good line to set. Um, 64 might have been a little too sweaty. But when you split it off, when you split it up across both systems, I think you I think you can do a, a decent job if you split it up. Like I said, if you split it up both systems, 64, 128 is pretty good. Pretty pretty uh the 128 is pretty locked in pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So for me, uh it doesn't make it too sweaty or too bad. Uh, it makes it too good. My man, user with the rate. I I heard we're on this 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 shooting game called Outriders, Outriggers. I I listen. I already made my player. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I don't know. Um, 
I'm always a fan of I and and I, I was talking earlier this week, man, that leaderboards always made me better without having the leaderboards it definitely when i got to play mud head to head as a streamer the leaderboards are key because um people have no choice but to play you for the most part man and you're earning rank you're moving up uh and everybody's going really hard at that them top four spots that that really helped me become a better player and you know without that you know i'm not playing the same competition over and over and over and over and over he goes, I have every game. I have every game. I never bullshit in gaming, ever. It's just, see, when, when, when streaming's your job, you got to put work. See, like, I got to put work in on Madden, you know, a lot, man. Yeah, I think 128 is, 128 is a good number, for real, for real. Uh, and if you can't make the 128, you got to get a little bit better. Uh, I want to make sure all you guys played in the LCQ. I mean, it, it didn't hurt, you know. There was one guy that went 0-13. What? <sighs> he played. I will tell you, that guy that went 0-13, I think, he got better than if he would have played weekend league and went 15-10. and 10. Just saying. He got a little bit better. He understood his weaknesses and, and why he got popped and why he went 0-13. Who knows? But, uh... Yeah, the 128 people was good. The double elimination tournament. Uh, three days to play. I only played two of the days and still top 30. So, I I mean, personally, I always like the long leaderboards. But not super long, but like a month. I feel like a month. I feel like a month is a good enough leaderboard. Or even two weeks. Two weeks online play is a good leaderboard. For real, for real. My man Vinny in the building with seven months, 16 total months, 16, seven straight. Vinny, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You know. But as far as everybody's concerned, it worked pretty well. And we're going to have a double elimination tournament. This is what everybody wanted, two chances. So when you lose, you get another chance. Um, it's going to be super sweaty, super tough. Um, and then those, I think, I don't even know how many people – four eight people so it's four people from each console will go to Madden Bowl which is cool and then they'll be in the draft pool maybe get drafted by uh I guess Trini and Jay Wall and is Pavin a captain I really don't know exactly all the ins and outs of Madden Bowl yet we'll find that as we go my man Clundy Clundy with all the way through May I, I hate how they couldn't make it all days if I book bot what what did you want them to like schedule it around your schedule I don't understand from one o'clock to 8 p.m. is not you can't get a couple games in a day you can't get three games in a day from one from seven hours per day you know oh for bracket play I mean well if you made the bracket you know, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, 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 I really don't, man. I, this is, this is like, I, I hate to tell you, but you know, competitive man is is not for people. That's, I don't want to say it's not for, it's not for regular people, but it's hard to do it if you're a regular person with a job, really. You know, it's it's really not for, not that it's not for, but you're just going to be up against it. You're going to be up against a, a strong hill to climb, really. Understandable. There's a lot of people that have jobs and can't put their all into Madden. Shit, I, you know what's crazy, right? For you guys that all have jobs and stuff and can't play. My literal job is Madden, right? And I still feel like I don't have enough time to compete. I still feel like, yo, it's not, like, my job is Madden. I play it and get paid to literally play the game. 
and I still feel like I haven't allocated enough or allocated enough time to improve competitively, really. Dead ass. So how can if that's the case for me, right? How can how what do you think it's going to be like for somebody with a regular job, you know? So that's why it's like yeah, and what do you want us to do about that? For real, for real. Like, what do you want us... Like, what is the answer for that? I don't think there's an answer. Like, it's kind of like, that's where in lies... I mean, I don't even want to say it's a skill gap, but it's a commitment gap, right? Like, these dudes are committed. Like, they're they're locked in, right? Committed without... Com- committed lifestyle gap commitment everything you know and if people are going to commit their lives and commit their lifestyle to something to compete at something at the highest level who are you to say i should be able to compete with them by putting in 10 percent of the effort you know that that's tough to say really it's gonna say you can't it's hard to compete with those. Yeah. The I don't know. And I've always thought this too, man. Like, if you were good enough in Madden, right? You know when you're good enough. Maybe you should invest some more time into it, you know? But I could see, like, even being now, like, I'm, like, super old for Madden, right? I could see how, like, a 30-year-old person with the family and shit was, like, there ain't no way I'm playing Madden that much for, like, that ass. Like, I, like, super understand it now. Like. It's with anything. It's try, try being a part-time surgeon, right? I just, I feel like if, if we want it to be a job... Uh, you got to commit all the way, really. And, and these kids are committed. These kids are balling. These kids are playing. Jesse, you're and you're fucking nobody that does fucking nothing. Like, what are you talking about? You sleep in a twin bed with your white woman in her house. And you work nights of doing fucking what? And just cap on, on the internet all the time. Like, get the fuck out of here. Did Jesse play LCQ? No, he didn't. He wasn't allowed to play in those hours. That was for fucking date date hours. One to eight or date hours. He hasn't played Xbox in a month. Cause I like what would like I work, I work, I work. Yeah, exactly, Lex. His his wife his girl controlled the TV. Actually, his in-laws control the TV. You know, in Canada, they only got one. In Canada, they got one TV. You know, Canada Canadians are like real, I want to say humble, but they're resourceful people. They're not going to have five, six TVs in the house. Fuck no. Got one TV. Are they keeping all Madden head-to-head? That's a good question. Are they keeping all Madden? No, they're not going to keep all Madden head-to-head. You know why they're not going to keep it? Because nobody's going to play it. Nobody plays And you know why no, nobody plays it? Because they put people like me in fucking pro level right away. So everybody I play is an absolute Helen Keller, like literally playing with their knees. Like they have no idea. So for me, it's, it's, it's just mindlessly boring that I will never grind it. Right, and I don't know. It's probably the same for you guys. So nobody's going to play it. So their stats, when they look at how many people played all man head to head, oh well, nobody really played it. Why would we keep it? So they're going to get rid of it. If they would transfer over your division when it went to all man, and boom, it would be a lot better. Like are you, the legend players should already be in legend. That way, we don't have to grind through the shitheads all day. For real, for real. Now, I'll be honest with you. I have been playing though. The coins are free. Don't tell anybody. The coins are free. Like 200k a day. Just chilling. I'm telling you that, that the coins are free on all Madden seasons. Like they are free. I'm talking, bro, nobody lasts past like the second drive. 
No, you don't play. The Demons are on all pro. The Demons play all pro. Like that Anthony Filler, he's on all pro. He's not playing all Madden. He don't got time for that shit. Yeah, I can't fuck with them all pro kids, bro. Them dudes are nasty. I'm telling you, Canadians don't have TVs. I know Canadians, man. You know how much? I Listen, I've been to Canada. They don't have a lot of TVs. They don't got a lot of cars. One family got one car. They tr- they take turns. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't do no dumb shit. Hmm. <sighs> Minimalists, exactly, Swoles. Minimalist. That's what they are, minimalists. It's all right. I'm not mad at it. Canadians don't got no second winter. See, Nappy, that's where you messed up. Their vehicle is capable of winter conditions. You know what I'm saying? They don't need a second one because the main one they have is capable of everything. That's where you messed up. I don't think I've said anything bad about Canadians. None. I think everything I said about them is, is is positive. I think here in America we're we're dumbasses, right? Just saying, we're kind of bullshit. I mean, we're the better people, far superior people, but you know. Drinking some gamer subs right now. You guys can get gamer subs 10% off if you use code needed at checkout. This is the best energy supplement that you can have for gaming. You drink it. Keeps you energized, has neurotropics, nootropics, or whatever the hell it is. Keeps your energy 99 overall. All right, how did we go bald? What happens is the Lord says, you know, your family, it's hereditary. Isn't that the word? You know, I think every man in my family is bald. And then up here, just it started thinning a little bit. And I was on like, and I had this mean comb over, which was clean for like an hour. Then it started getting blown around and it started getting nasty, right? So you only had an hour of being outside. Like once, once the hour hit, you you, you couldn't rock your hair like that for real, for real. But that first hour was still kind of clean. And then after Jacksonville, when, when, you know, I got grazed in the head here, I went to the hospital and they shaved half of my head. And I was like, fuck it, it's time to full send. I shaved. I said, you know, I look pretty damn good. And it was a great decision. And now we have the baldy. Come over was mean. I mean, I, I, do you guys have to? We have to see pictures of how crazy the comb over was. Like, see, that's like people really. Don't, I mean, towards the end, it wasn't as strong, right? But it had its prime. Let's not go crazy that it, it had its prime. Like, it really had its prime. Like, I had a prime. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, that's... It's it's actually crazy that y'all... To this point... Oh, that's the wrong one. Fuck. That y'all doubt... That I had this crazy prime. Like, bro, prime. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this. Boom. Boom. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, dude. Exactly. Kiv's dad. Just absolutely. Wesley could never... Could never, they could never pull off a haircut like this, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, y'all, y'all think I'd just be hating, like, making stuff up? Like, no, bro. How do like a scumbag? Like, this, yo, this is as clean as it gets. But then, you know, I mean, you could tell, like, it wasn't that strong up here in the corners. Like, it wasn't that, like, up in here, like, it wasn't that strong. 
but you combed it over so it kind of, see the white man has a power see y'all laugh at us for getting sunburned and shit like that right but we have a power that you could comb over your hair and you could hide the bald and you could get a couple more years out of your hair right Like, I, like, bro, the comb over was mean, but you could see, like, up here, it, it, I mean, it wasn't the strongest, but you know, it got it done. I mean, boom, like, if you got some volume to it, you was the man. Like, come on, bro, y'all, y'all don't understand what I, what I did before this mad. I was like the man before this mad and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all don't, y'all really don't, y'all really don't know. That's what's crazy, bro. Y'all really don't know, like, y'all don't know anything. All y'all see is this twit. Like, I was really the man. You need some volume. You need some volume to your hair. Just, I'm just, I'm just being honest. My oh, man, Yurt with the five gifted, man. What year was all this shit? Hold up, where's my Facebook? 2015, so this was six years ago. You know. So that's what happened. Then they got a little bit thin, and you know the comb over was holding it. So I'm just telling y'all. But then it started being like, okay, it's almost time to go. And once they shaved my head at the hospital, it was uh, there it goes, bro. You you got to a hundred? Are you on a hundred? My man, Yerp with a hundred total. Yifties, the legend. No, for real, like. Like, but we we hold down the baldy. Listen, the baldy is legitimate, though. It is. I'm 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 happy, happier with the baldy. Cause like this, is what I never understood. How do y'all clown people about being bald? It's not shit I could do about it, right? What could I do? And that's a lie, Jesse. It's definitely a lot of effort on the bald head. You gotta shave it every every shower. I'm I mean, I wouldn't call it a victim. I would say a blessing, a man that was blessing. Right? I, I don't I don't think it's a victim, but I'm just saying it's something you don't have any control over. Like the shoes you wear and your attitude and your, you know, the your just your mannerisms, you have control over that. Your baldness Shit. I mean, you still joke about it. You know what I'm saying? You're right. I don't call Ward that ugly all the time. I don't think that's my go-to joke. I really laugh about how he how he was simping that the that white cheerleader chick, and he had her on Instagram and shit. That's more of my Ward jokes. You know what I'm saying? I might cut the beard off for, uh, I might cut the beard off for, um, whatchamacallit, MLB. I might. We're thinking about it. It's on the docket. No, but... Imagine if they had this last chance qualifier. I think they could have one of these a month, per 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 month, per month. Y'all just need to bring who? All right, this is my question to you. Who chat? Who's playing MLB in this chat? Who's playing MLB? The thing about the beard is the bitch grows back instantly, bro. PTA, my guy. Now, let me know because, one, I'll be honest, I didn't play it till last year. 
people, uh, Problem, Skull Mode, they've all been telling me to play it for like the last five years. I only played it the last year, and they were right. Seriously, they were right. So if you're thinking about it, one million percent get it done. Get it done. All right, if you got to wait for the Game Pass for the free, get it done. It's fun. The best thing about me is that I'm ass, so it's like, and it doesn't really matter, you know? So uh, if you guys are thinking about it, definitely full send. Hopefully we can hopefully we can get an army out in the needed gaming jerseys and the needed gaming stadium. Will any of y'all rock? Will any of y'all rock the needed gaming jerseys? Y'all could change the color if y'all want to watch rock the blue, the blue needed gamings or the red ones. You know what I'm saying? The black and whites. Y'all could rock, you know, you could do some, you know, red and blue. You know, whatever you want, the green and blue, whatever style you want, and play in the stadium, it might go crazy. Might go crazy. Now, what I want to do, I wish I could bring that logo from MLB 20 and, and bring it to 21 because that was a bitch to make. It gets saved in the inventory. Well, at least on the other one it did. If I, I got to find a way to make sure I save it and bring it. Because that, yo, it took me forever. It took me forever to make that shit. I really sweated that. Stadium's going to be hell too, boys. Trust it. So whatever y'all want to rock the red and black. I think y'all could change the color pretty good. No, for real. It's gonna be fun, man. I'm excited about it. I got the baseballs. I got the bat. I got I, listen. Did I showed you did I show you I showed y'all last week the eye black joints that I ordered? Okay, we got the custom eye blacks. Oh man, yeah. It's gonna be a crazy, a crazy you know, off season for what you call it for for Madden or what's it? Not Madden. MLB. Well, it is off season for Madden. The needed eye blacks, bro. Crazy, crazy. It's going. We're going to go crazy. It's going to go crazy. MLB. So I'm super excited. Uh, for that. Because I'm going to be real mad and it's like, it's crazy. I was thinking to myself today, boys. This is the most fun this year I've had playing Madden, but the least fun streaming it. Maybe because it's like dead. I don't know. I, like The streams have been... I don't know if it's my fault or what it is. But playing it, I'm having fun. But streaming it, big L's. All right. Let's talk about Boss by Wars. Enough bullshitting. Enough bull. No, no, no. We need Boss by Wars 3. We need Boss by Wars 3. It's time to spice it up. It's time to stop bullshitting on dates. I'll be honest with you, I have the date. I have the theme. It's done. We just got to put it in motion now, boys. It is done. I kind of want to tell y'all the fourth team. Mm, I kind of want to tell y'all, but... I got it. That's my man. Usually taught me goals are goals. I need twenty five hundred followers on the uh, twenty. I need twenty five hundred followers on the burner, and I'll, I'll announce another team. I need twenty five hundred followers on the burner. It's duos. I need 2,500. I'm at, this is where we're at on the tweeter. 2,000. My man, Mercs. Mercs with the seven months. Bang bros, they might be. Yeah, we need 2,500. The, the next team is the best team. 
Now you guys know as like I, I tweeted this today, right? Or the other day, right here. You guys know these guys, BG and Bobby, Jay Bird and Vos on a team, right? Salty and Niner. You know these these nasty bastards, right? We know these nasty, these nasty fucks, right? We know them. The next team, y'all never seen them play before on Bot Wars. Y'all never seen their faces on Bot Wars. I have brought new opponents to the Bot Wars field. I have brought a whole nother realm from the Bot. A whole nother stratosphere of Madden player. I'm just saying. Zan and Ragusa might be. Witness and Ward. I'm just saying. All we need is 2,500. And it's released. We're almost there. We're getting there, boys. Cause I don't know when I'm I don't know if I can ever get if I can ever, ever, ever get the tweeter back. But there it is, man. Make sure y'all follow that. If you're on YouTube, please follow. The, it's Dubby's Burner on Twitter, bro. That's all. I'm not. But don't do a link if you want to follow. You'll t- just type in Dubby's Burner. I'm just thinking who like. I'm excited about it. I want to tell y'all. You know how when you get somebody a gift and you want to give it to them. Uh, What do I want to say? When I uh when you uh what you call it? When you get somebody a gift and you want to like hurry up and give it to them like before Christmas or their birthday or some shit, like you just like yo I want to make sure they I want to give them this gift. Like that's how I feel with the rest of the news. One, I got the teams ready, I got the theme ready, I got the date of Boss Bot Wars three. I have the date. I know when it's going down. But the thing is, I listen. We got a gas. Jay, if we got three thousand, it all I'll tell you all of it. My man Tyrone with the ten months. Is it on four twenty? Wouldn't it be a bad date. Everything Jay. Three th- how how are we gonna get three thousand? We are seven hundred. Quick math, quick math, quick math. Seven hundred and forty four followers away from three thousand. What's up with him? What's up? What's up, buddy? You doing good? You wanted to see the boys? Yeah? You don't seem too hype. He's going crazy. Crazy eyes. You holding your head up on your own now, buddy? Good. You tell him you went on a walk today. You went to the grocery store. And tomorrow you're going to the zoo. You're going to the zoo tomorrow to see the lions and the tigers and the bears. No punk ass animals like zebras and giraffes. You're not going to see no. What's some more punk ass animals? Flamingos. Hippos, no I hippos are actually monsters. I gotta be cultured. I gotta see it all. No, pandas. You're not seeing no damn pandas. Yeah. They be cute though. No, they be cute. Lions, tigers, bears, reptile house, llamas. Yeah, hippos are like hippos are like super savages. Ostrich. The penguins. Penguins are sweet. Penguins, they're sweet. Gorillas. Yeah, we'll see some gorillas. No, I don't really want to see any other monkeys. Orangutan is pretty ugly. But we definitely want to see the gorillas. You doing good, buddy? You just wake up or what? Oh, crazy eyes, crazy eyes. He's been, he been chilling. He's about to take a bath. You about to take a bath and go down? Take a bath and go down for the night? I'm saying you do got a few good giraffes. 
Feed the giraffes. All right. Clearly, you've never done it. Well, we'll spend time at the lions while you feed the giraffes, okay? I've done it already. You let me do it. You want to feed, buddy? You want to feed giraffes or you want to see the lions and the gorillas? Yeah. King Kong is a gorilla. He's not a giraffe. All right, buddy. You go to, you go to bed. You take a bath with mommy, okay? What? Sippy too. Okay. He does like little giggles now. His giggle is like almost there. He just got back. Ha! He be like, ah, 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 ah. But it's not there yet. It's not there yet. It's almost there though. Lions and gorillas are mad boring. What animal is exciting in the zoo? I seriously, are we getting ex like? I, I, are there exciting? Which is the exciting section of the zoo? Are the fucking zebras running races? The lions are boring? What's going on? Are the snakes like slithering in the races or some shit? Ostriches? Oh yeah, they go crazy, huh? Like what type of comment is that? The lions are boring. The fish. Yeah, the fish never stops swimming. I mean, yeah, the zoo, the zoo kind of mid. One is going to be 81 degrees tomorrow. I'm going to be hot as shit. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get a hat. 81 degrees is like, bro, fuck it, bro, all right, 81 degrees after being 50 and 40 degrees for three months is hot, yes, 81 is definitely hot, yeah, 105, I die, my head's gonna be burned as shit, tomorrow night on the stream, I'm gonna be red as shit, no, it's gonna be red tomorrow, just trust that, tomorrow night stream, lobster, That's what I mean. Like, the first couple warm days is hot as shit because you're not used to it. Just like in the fall when you get, like, a 50-degree day, you'd be cold as shit. Like, oh, damn. Ain't that water? That's because you're Mexican. That's why people are different, all right? I don't know why. And, and I accept you as a different person that likes the sun, right? As my friend. That's okay. I'm a white man. Don't like the sun that much. I don't. Yeah, see? Eduardo's afraid of cold. I love the cold. Give me the snow. I'm out there in shorts. And it's just different people. And that's fine. Bro, I don't like the heat. Oh, I, if it was up to me, I would I would wear shorts all the time, for real, for real. It it just depends on what you're doing. Like, and people be like, "Yo, it's crazy you wear shorts in the winter." Like, bro, what do y'all be doing? Now, obviously, if I was standing outside for four hours, I wouldn't wear shorts. But you literally like walk from your house to a car, and then your car to like the Walmart. What do you need to be bundled up for? Eighties is hot when it's the first time of the year. Yes. The first the first day of spring is gonna feel hot as shit. That's what I'm saying. It's going to feel hot. I mean, I wouldn't say now y'all exaggerating like eighties is super hot. Like, it's not that hot, but 
I'm saying compared to what it's been the last couple months, yes, it's going to feel hot tomorrow. I definitely need to get the air conditioner back in this room because one, she's not going to put the air on with the baby until it gets like hot, hot. Bro, the summer is brutal. I, bro, I never understood why people like all that hot ass shit, bro. We haven't learned anything from this conversation. We haven't learned anything from this conversation. One thing we got learned is human beings are different, but we can all coexist in peace. That's what I'm saying. But we haven't learned anything. Everybody, all y'all doing is telling everybody how they should feel. It's a prime example of accepting how other people feel. Some people feel like 80 is hot. Some people feel like 200 is hot. Some people feel like they like it cold, and that's how they feel. If you can't respect a man's temperature feelings, how can you expect the feelings of his heart? You know what I'm saying? My man SVC with the five yifties. That was bars. That was crazy. Just saying. It's kind of like when all y'all iPhone users clown other people for having a different phone. Like that's that to me that's like why is that something to laugh at? I never understood that. Like we we as human beings all go into the same damn store, right? We all go in whatever y'all got wh whether it's whether it's you know, T-Mobile or AT&T or Verizon or whatever the hell cell phone, Cricket, Boost Mobile, whatever y'all got. We all go into the same store. We all got the same dumbass plan, pay for the phone, app, whatever the hell dumbass plan y'all have. The phones aren't that goddamn expensive. It was cool to have the expensive phone when you were in middle school. All right? So that's like, listen, that's the furthest thing from cool to have the most expensive phone as an adult. For real. So... We all have the same choice when we go into the store. And me as a man or somebody else, they chose this phone. You chose that phone. Who gives a shit? That's how I feel. I have never, like, questioned somebody's opinion about what phone they choose. Right? They're grown-ups. Choose whatever the hell you want. My man wins. Steve is in the building with 19 months. Like I never, I never understood, like, never understood why people gave a shit. Yeah, I never understood why people really care. Like, because I'll be honest with you guys, all these phones are pretty high goddamn powered, right? They get the job done. Like, do you ever watch, like, no, seriously, this was funny. Do you guys ever watch, like, compare the iPhone 9 versus the Galaxy 19 or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? You ever watch that or like read an article on the comparisons? The entire time I watch those, like I watch those, those uh videos, I say to myself, bro, I don't know about any of this shit they're talking about. This one has a... Uh, this no, the last one I watched was like this one has three cameras. The iPhone 7 has nine cameras. The megapixel d diversity of this camera is more vet. 
oh, well, you can take your storage from this device to the other one if you use the cross-platform with the extra megabytes of this is, like, bro, yeah, like, that shit don't matter. And I'll be honest with you guys. It's the iPhone crowd that starts these beefs. It is the iPhone crowd that continually tries to feel superior to the other crowds. If you notice it, nobody is making a joke about having an iPhone right now, right? Look, having a droid is like driving a Subaru. Somebody said having a droid is like having Polo Association. People that don't have iPhones, they don't give a shit. They're just cool with the phone they got. No, honestly. For real? That's what I'm saying, bro. And that's what I realized. The people that buy the iPhone, right? The iPhone crowd is always chasing, you know, uh, self-worth. They always want to fit in. They always want to, you know what I'm saying, feel that way. Whereas the droid crowd is content with their space in this world. They're content with who they are. They don't question it or anything like that. They don't ever try to bring people down or point out other people's flaws. You know, but the iPhone users, these people are always searching that self-worth, that sense of value to the earth. You know, so every chance they get to point out somebody else is flaw, they take it out. There it is. You know? I, like I said, honestly, I have never argued what phone is better, what phone is worse. I have never done that. There we go. Now we go back with this. Yes, the argument is stupid. That's what I mean. It's the personal thing where they have to feel that they're worth something. That's all. You know what I'm saying? And this is like... This, and this is the other thing. A green bubble? When somebody brings that up, that person has the mind of a fucking hamster. That, I swear to God. That ass. Look at this kid right here. Tyrone. If they got green bubbles, I ain't answering. That's that's your intelligence? That's what you bring to the argument? Like seriously, that okay. Guess we're not talking then, right? I guess we're not talking. That's fine. There's eight billion other people in the world I can talk to. But um, why would I want to talk to somebody that doesn't want to talk to me because my bubbles are green? You know what I'm saying? That's all I mean. Like They gonna text back little fucking Keisha who plays with their little penis as soon as her bubbles could be purple. They gonna text that bitch back instantly. I don't let them lie. And they say, ha ha ha, I almost didn't text you back because you have green bubbles. I almost didn't text you back. I hate green bubbles. You need an iPhone. That's the, that's gonna be their line to get in, right? That's gonna be their first line. Come on, man. Fucking Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Ha, ha, ha. You don't have an iPhone. LOL. Or they might do it. They might do it. They might do a, a win all day. You ready? They might do a win all day and just LMAO, biggest shit. Oh, Keisha. LMAO, you don't have an iPhone. LMAO. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yeah. They want to tax her back so fast with that corny ass line. Exclusive emojis. Bro, y'all are like, y'all are really whole assholes. Like, bro, America is just going under. We're just going under. Do you think they had these arguments in like Japan or China where they're smart as shit? Those kids are smart as shit. They're probably breaking down. Yo, in, in, in China, they're probably really having like megabyte arguments right now. And like technology type arguments. We talking about green bubbles and shit. And he just said exclusive, exclusive emojis. Oh my God. China probably has phones in their mind already, dude. I swear to God. China probably always had like just implant the phone chip and you can just call people and text like just through your mind. I never understood the FaceTime argument. I mean, when it first came out, yeah, it was an argument. And it was good. It's like, damn, that's pretty tough. But now, um, now that, bro, like, I, you can fa- you can face call people. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can, like, face call on Twitch right now. Like, and now it's dead. Everything has, Instagram has FaceTime. Like, you know, now it's kind of dead, though. No, China, them Chinese are shitting on us, bro. They're shitting on us. For real. Yeah, I never, like, yeah, I guess, do y'all, like, really FaceTime? Bro, come on, man. FaceTime, I mean, I guess when it first came out, it was pop. It was cool. But now, like I said, every app has FaceTime. iMessage games. Is that what we're doing right now? We're playing iMessage games. No wonder you guys suck at Madden. Because you're spending time playing fucking iMessage games. Get in P mode and figure some shit out. What are you playing? Fucking Pong on iMessage? I'm an esports champion. You think I can't be good at it? I'm an esports champion. I couldn't be nice at iMessage pool. I couldn't be nice at that. What gaming championships have you guys fucking won? What have y'all ever won in gaming? All right? Nothing. Not shit. But y'all good at y'all good at iMessage pool? Yeah, right. Let's find Twitch iMessage pool on Twitch. Let's find that. You're not on it. You're not the top streamer iMessage pool. You don't have the iMessage pool belt. No, you don't got shit. You're shitter, you're shitters. All you guys are shitters, bro. I don't understand the youth. You guys are idiots. That's what I'm telling you. Y'all idiots. Y'all stupid. That's what I'm trying to save y'all. I don't blame y'all. I blame your old heads, bro. Smartphones are for stupid people. I believe it. Because somebody like me, an intellectual, an open mind, when I'm not, you know, working or streaming or playing a game, I'm thinking about ways to get better. I'm thinking about ways to improve. You know, I'm observing the world around me. I'm not stuck in my phone playing stupid ass fucking iMessage games. Yeah, maybe when I was 18 or, or maybe when I was 14, I was playing Snake on the Nokia. I played Snake like shit. And you know what it did? It rotted my brain. That's why I don't have all these college degrees. Video games rotted my brain. I'm trying to save you guys. Get off the iMessage pool 
and pay attention to your surroundings, man. Do your schoolwork. For real. Salty and Niner on the same team. Who is the quarterback? If Salty and Niner play, who is the quarterback? Who do you think will be the quarterback between Salty and Niner? And will any of these teams take this serious and really put some preparation in? Or do you think they just show up? Do you think they just show up? That's what I ask you guys. Leo, War, I'm just thinking right now. Ward's phone 1 million percent has cracks in it. Oh, my God. Ward, Ward phone is cracked the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Ward phone is nasty, bro. <laughs> They just show up? Okay, okay. Bobby BG. <laughs> Screen protected folded. <laughs> All right, here's the question. What's in better shape? Ward's phone or Ward's PlayStation? <laughs> What's in better shape? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's nasty. All right, unban request. Let's get some unbans. That ward ward's a nasty. He yo ward is a nasty. A nasty. On bannies, on bannies. My man AD Adelston. Ten months. Blitz, what's good, man? We got thirteen unbannies. I never I don't remember having ever having thirteen, bro. Well, it's been a while. Cause it is actually it's been two weeks, that's why. We've been at the two week mark now, boys. Here we go. All right, let's start at the top. Nigel Pierce. Whoa, whoa. Now you banned, bro. I'm all right. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm done with um dudes using a little brother, bro. The ones using a little brother excuse out. They're out. Dragon Tiger. This guy's a this guy's a troll, bro. Yo. This guy's nasty, bro. This guy, yo, Dragon Tiger is isn't this the guy? <laughs> yo, yo, I'm here. I'm here with ten facts about Dragon. No, was even one when he came and he said, "Yo, I need help writing my paper on tigers." <laughs> what what type of release does Johnny Unitas have? <laughs> How are you getting your match coverage to play that close? Should I go for Leaper or Shaker? Like, this kid is nasty, bro. My parents don't let me take Adderall. I don't know who this is. I didn't know who this kid is. Tigers communicate using scent markings, visual signals, and lot and roars. Yo. I'm telling you, this is a troll, bro. How excited are you for the Sugar Rush promo? <laughs> yo, man. Yo, this kid is nasty. All right. Oh, my God. 
W. I would like to start with a sincere apology. My actions were uncalled for inappropriate as you were getting curb stomped in a Madden game. Okay. And the moon landing subject should have been brought up at a different time. I miss discussing topics such as Admiral Bird, and I've been out the loop on which quarterback has the best release in the game. Do you know one swipe from a tiger's front paw is enough strength to smash a bear's skull or even break its back? Yours truly, Dragon Tiger 3557. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> fucking dragon tiger, bro. I'm telling you, yo, I don't know who this is. I really don't know who my man dragon tiger is. Oh, damn. My right, caps lock on. So what? He gets it. Fuck it. Is this salty? Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's what I mean, bro. I can't. Nah, bro. You out, bro. You out, Danny. Like, yo, look at this shit. I be feeling like they normal. Like, yo, that, look, like they be feeling like they normal, bro. Good pocket presence. Bro, run the iPhone 26 duo. Like, he'd be cool, right? Swat. Okay, Nano. Need a book. Edwards ain't it. Randy is. Talk about bro. Now it's sup big dick, bro. Like, that's a little crazy. You can't, like, bro. Bro. This fucking guy. Who was here, bro? Zeist? Do we bring back Zeist? Yo, Zeist is a nasty bro. Let's bring Zeist back, bro. No, this is my guy. This is my guy, Eddie. Eddie, please. It's my guy. It's a good guy, but he got crazy, though. Of course, I'm bringing him back, but, bro. Why did they say it was a brother, bro? Nah, bro. You out of here. Like, bro, no. Bro, you out of My man Shrek in the building. JJ, what's up, man? With the 13 months. Like, what is this, bro? I mean, I can't lie. This is kind of a W. Uh, this is a good, uh, this was a good, unbear this was a good, uh, what you call it, request. I don't know. I'll bring him back, bro. We bring him back. I mean, he just put the same. <laughs> no, it ain't no way. It ain't no way we let him. <laughs> Bro, it ain't no way. It's a nose, bro. Creativity.
This was NRG trying to tell me uh, how to play league play. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's why people get banned. That's why people get banned. That's why they're on the ban list, bro. Bro, you were mod, but then you got unmodded, bro, for for reasons we know about, bro. Like, let me tell you. My man Shugs, 25 months. The gridiron legend Shugs with the 25 months. It was a code broken. No, I don't have any codes for online store. Like you can go to the store, buy this shirt, panties in a bunch. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Best shirt we got. Earl, how about Earl? How about the Schefter report that the Niners are taking Mac Jones with the third pick in the draft? Let's go, man. No, I have, I have a mole here, and I have a mole. I have two moles right here. This is a scar. Yo, if Earl, yo, if the Niners take Mac Jones, Earl, first of all, Earl is gonna first he's gonna flip shit, but then he's gonna then he's gonna just tell us how great Mac Jones is. He's gonna slurp. Oh my god! Oh, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be the worst thing ever. It's really going to be the worst thing ever. Oh, it's smoke to get viewers to watch the draft. Ooh. Ooh, draft viewership, draft viewership. Yeah. I'm telling you, Earl is going to be sick. If they traded all that to get Mac Jones, oh, Earl is going to be sick. He's going to be sick. Earl is going to be sick. Sick, sick, sick. Oh, you're going to hear that. No, if the Niners take Mac Jones, you're going to hear how he's pretty much Peyton Manning. Earl, just remember, the Eagles were shit last year. The Niners were shit last year. We still beat y'all on your home field. Boom. This was the Need a Podcast, episode 124. Fly, Eagles, fly. I don't remember the last time they ever lost to the Niners. They've been kicking the shit out of the Niners for the last, for my entire life.